Wow, this is getting a little bit out of hand. I'm trying to find my bale spear. It's somewhere here. Ah, uh, that hit bone. Oh, we're gonna have to do something about this high weeds. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Mommy, mommy, let's get to it. So I had to feed the cattle. I thought I'd just uh, try out this uh, three-point hitch on this thing. You guys, what do you guys think? Will this work or not? Uh, I think it'll probably be a little bit overloaded. We're gonna see though. Never know. Little Johnny could. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Oh. Alright, All right, let's stop messing around. Let's just get this bale over there already. Alright, now that the cattle are fed, we need to do something about this high grass. If I can get, well, yep, got out of the mud hole. Alright, bring little Johnny back over here. Alright, that was a nice little stroll. Man, do I love my Mack truck. That is just one beautiful looking rig. Had it over here, I've waxed it up. Just had to wax it, shine up the chrome. I mean, who doesn't enjoy looking at this beautiful, shiny piece of metal? Hmm, that's, that's some artwork right there. I'm gonna get over and start getting on my little mo deck over here. Got it running over here. I need to start mowing my whole entire farmyard. Start this old girl up. I do enjoy this mower, but I just don't think it's adequate for us. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to do here. I mean, look at all that basically what is that almost chest high grass we got a mow just don't think this mow deck is going to be able to get her done not in this week at least maybe we got let's go down to the John Deere dealership see if they have something for us all right, we are hooked up to our gooseneck. Just as well get headed to the dealer. What? You know me. You know I can't go somewhere. So actually, I got the Kubota. The, I think that's a 60 inch deck. Uh, zero turn mower. I think it'll freaking, I think it will increase our productivity when it comes to mowing our chest high grass not our chest hair and I got to demo the telehandle the bobcat so why not let's take a demo really quick I think you'll it might even I was thinking maybe we could put it on the mower deck or we could use it to help move equipment around and stuff like that. You never know. I mean, why not? And two, I'm seriously considering increasing my cattle herd. Maybe getting some feeder calves, something like that. So maybe it might be a possibility for the farm. You know, it, it would increase our uh, chores in the morning. Maybe little Johnny would have to be retired for a little bit, but Hey, sounds good to me. So, here is my new beauty. It is a Kubota F3060. So, I think that means 30 horse, 60 foot deck. I believe, anyways. And it absolutely chews this grass up. 
which might actually get me to mow all this grass. I know I've said that before, but, I mean, come on. Sometime I actually have to get it mowed. It's so convenient, it runs zero turn, it'll go all the way around so I can go in between all these bushes, all this craziness in my center piece around all my uh, wife's flowers here. Yeah, she gets a little bit overdone, does the flowers. Maybe I should just mow them too. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I've been in the doghouse enough. Don't probably need to mow them again. Mow around this stuff. I think I'm going to have, we're gonna be moving this stuff out of the way a little bit here get this uh, move use our new bobcat here for all its goodness got to get our three-point hitch on here put this on up there we go hook it up this makes moving three-point items around very, very easy. Move all this stuff. Like this old cultivator. There we go. Move that out of the way, really easy. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's a little bit heavy for the front of this thing. Might have to put some weight in the back. Some more junk in the trunk. And we'll go over here. Move our old chisel out of the way. I got all that. My tillage equipment moved out of the way here. Man, that bobcat's really handy. And we get to mow this on down over here. Oh yeah. I don't have to look at that uh, really high grass in between all my uh, tillage equipment, which was getting a little bit of an eyesore. And it was basically right along the roadway here. Hook this back up here. Put the pins in. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. A little heavy. A little heavy. Last item to move back into position. Alright, so that lineup is done. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to hook up to this front mower. I just want to uh, mow around a little bit. I think it'll be nice. I mean, this thing is a four-wheel steer. Uh, telehandler. I think most of them are, to be honest, but I think this thing would, this would be a huge mowing operation. Maybe not as, like, uh, handy as a uh, skid steer, but it might be uh, pretty close. There's our attachment. Yep. It's, it's a little bit heavy for a, a front of our, uh, skid steer so this might actually be better for us because obviously a telehandler can handle a lot more weight designed that way mow around here oh yeah liking i don't know i might take these little uh bars off of this i don't really like these bars to be honest probably i prefer not having them on but uh, it's, it's, I guess it's all right. I guess it's it's a safer way to mow. Hit heavy, what the, who the heck? What the heck is going on here? Who the heck is that? What? What? 
Where are you going? Are you lost? What? Uh, do you not see me? What? What the heck? All right. See you later. You know this is private property. Oh, man. Weirdos everywhere. Start this thing up. Don't let the weirdos distract us from our mission today. To get our jungle mowed down completely. Hopefully. Okay, maybe not. But majority of it, hopefully. Kind of like this. This is definitely work good for like ditches and stuff. Might have to try it in a ditch here in a bit. Mow around all this. Gonna have to move my goosenecks right here. Alright, so we gotta move our goosenecks. So I hooked up to our three point into our little uh, gooseneck connector hitch. Uh, three point to gooseneck. It's it's a all round hitch in bale spear. Hitch this right up here. Ooh, raise on up and uh, back her up. Alright, one more here. Raise on up. You know, when you have that pesky animal that just won't, like that bull that just won't get out from the front of the trailer, no matter what you do, no matter what you poke at it, I got the perfect solution. Just raise the trailer on up. Ooh, this is a little dangerous. But all you do is raise that trailer on up. They should just roll right off the back of that trailer. No effort whatsoever. Just roll your cattle out. Yeah, hopefully they don't break a leg, but you never know. All right, that's unhitched. Now I just have to drop this three point. Now that I uh, have my grass mode, I could actually find it, not spear myself again. Get all this mowed down like so. So quick with this. Nice, easy, easy. I think we should probably get our bat wing out here. Looks like a perfect opportunity to use our 4620 here. Hi, boy, over here. Uh, it's been sitting out in the sun. It needs a little love and attention. Work this old girl up. Come on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let it idle out. Oh, man, I just love how that sound goes. All right. Such a beast of a tractor. And we got a little bit of sunshade. The sun is just beating down on us today, so it, this feels good. At least we have some type of this is the old fashioned poor man's air condition open station i'm gonna hook up to our bat wing over here i have it in our uh, barn open these barn doors up all right all hooked up oh oh 
uh, I don't know if I was supposed to show this or not. So, I bought, so this is my wife's new, uh, this is going to be our birthday present. I mean, who buys something for their wife that they really want themselves? I know, me neither. I've always wanted one since uh, I've seen them in high school. They were like my dream car. Just love the hood on this thing. These are, they got the aluminum LS in there. Just mm, beautiful, beautiful car. Check this thing out. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We got a little bit of supercharge in it. Yeah. Look at that thing rumble. Yeah, buddy. That thing is a beast. Chromed out. This thing will squeal the tires. Talk about a burnout. Can't do a burnout because my wife might hear me. Almost let the windows down in there. Don't want no bugs flying in there. Rats or whatever. Alright. Got to make sure we shut the barn door so wifey don't see. Get this old bat wing to work. Man, this is one heck of a rig. I love the looks of this rig right here. Mowing along here. Beautiful old tractor. Pulling it nicely. Almost a perfect setup in my book. Got to raise it on up. This is our grass field. Don't want to mow that. This stuff is uh, seeding out, so it's not really uh, bale material. Material, if you know what I mean. Rolling now. Man, this is almost a perfect rig together. So glad to finally get all this uh, snake cover mowed down. Raise that on up so I don't mow my grass a little bit there. Alright, mow around our grain bins. Especially beans, it's almost harvest time. Get all this mowed down over here. Love the smell. What? What the? This guy is back. Oh. What the heck? What are you doing? Get out of it. Whoa, whoa, come on, buddy. What the heck? There's only one way to handle a weirdo like this. Yeah, face him on, head on. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. Yep, yep, going nowhere now. Yep, yep, oh, oh, oh. Hey, you know this private property? Oh yeah, free country there, dude. Yeah, free country to own property. Well, I'm gonna let you know. I came over here to chew gum and to kick arse. I'm all out of gum. Oh, 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 now you wanna leave. Yeah, buddy. See you later. See you later. Bye, Mark. Yeah, that's my buddy, Mark. Mama always said, it's dangerous being this bad arse. Yeah, here we go. Go around all these parts here. Come on, old deer. Get on up the hill. Little Johnny could do it. You could do it too. Looks like I'm gonna have to uh, move these trailers here too. Definitely gonna have to move them. Looks like another job for our demo. Oh, but you're gonna get up this old. Ugh. That is a tough hill to climb, right? All right. Now it is time to get our uh, telehandler over here. Move our trailers up a little bit. There we go. Just a few more get this place clean finally. Spick and span. Hopefully at least. Alright. Thank you all for watching and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. You ever have problem get that 
all your uh, chemical out of your tank? Yeah, just get a tow handler. Stin boom. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're in a sticky situation here. Oh yeah, let's get it fixed. Make sure you like the video. Thank y'all. You guys haven't heard yet. You could save a ton on Apex Gaming PC. Just use the code SQUAD to save up to 10% off the gaming PCs. These gaming PCs were, a couple were made specially just for Farming Simulator. You can run all the mods like you see on this channel or on Squad's channel, especially when you see his RCC. All them vehicle mods, that takes a heavy duty PC. Check them out. Great deals. I'm going to be running one myself here soon.